All right. You join me in the Access Planet offices. This is a talkie vlog. If you're new around here, which believe it or not, there are some, I don't know why, but I do two vlogs a week. I do an edited one over the weekend with like supposed to be bits of the week to sort of remember what's going on. And then on a Wednesday, I do what's called a talkie vlog, which is just one, one straight through robots. It's, just, it's like not edited, it's just, I just hit record and whatever I'm thinking about, I just say. Now, I wanted to show you this. If you know me personally, you know where I work in Lancaster, in this IT company, which is amazing, by the way. And I'll get onto that in a bit, because, you know, it's gonna be a bit deep and meaningful. I think it is, because I don't typically know what I'm gonna say until I hit record, but as I was walking through the door and unlocking it from the gym, which is downstairs, I thought, I know what I'll say. I'm gonna record a bit of spiel. If it gets a bit too cheesy and a bit too silly, don't worry, Greg, it's not like when I was drunk at my wedding. If it gets a bit rubbish, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna scrap it. But, point being is, in this wonderful office in Lancaster, where we work, the guys that own the business have bought one of the other offices, which belong to Fat Media. And what they've decided to do is make it a breakout room. Check this out. It's got, a, I, I should put the camera on the side, but I don't think you can do that once you're recording. It's got a big wiggly seat in the middle, right? It's got tables, it's got puffy seats, puffy, puffy seats. It's got um, other seats, um, chairs, nice colour scheme, bench, this bench here, this curly seat has got power sockets, you can't see any there, but it does have them in. Honestly, I'm just not very good at not looking where I'm going. And this bit over here is fake grass, astroturf, just like what I've got in my garden. And I can't show you what's on that because it's obviously top secret, I've got to be careful with stuff like that because we you know we're, we're very secretive about, well not really, I just, you know, work stuff, work, play, keep it separate, all right, you're just not looking at the flip chart. But look at this, this seat in here. <sighs> so you can come in here and you can just work and it's enforced to be like a learning environment that you just come into and you just learn, you just like bring a book, we're going to get some speakers in, there's going to be some TED Talks, there's going to be all sorts of things. The main men that own the company are like properly pouring money that we're making into like it being an excellent place to work. Now, a lot of people, even people that I know, don't work at excellent places. Um, they're just like, oh, I've got to go to work again. Oh, it's garbage. I hate it. I hate my job. I hate my boss. I don't have any of that. And the bit I was on about before, which before I came in the office, was the, the soppy bit was... When I started, I had two jobs in my life, right? Well, I've worked at two companies. The first company, the shutter company, I didn't get the job. I, uh, I, I did the interview and I didn't get it, I failed. But the person that did get it didn't turn up. So then they offered it to me, brilliant. I literally started, you know people, that old chestnut or that old wives tale, I started sweeping the factory floor, I did. I literally started sweeping the factory floor. My job was to tidy the factory. And then after that, I moved on to dispatch where I would pack the shutters and put them away and send them off on their merry way. And I just kept my head down and I listened to people that were better than me because I left school with nothing because I'm pretty thick, as you probably can tell. Um, did really rubbish at school, hated it, couldn't stand it. Anyway, got this job, or didn't get this job, sweeping the floor. Moved my way into dispatch, moved my way into making the shutters, moved my way into making the gates move away into the fit in the shutters. So, which was one of like the, the sought after jobs, if you like, people, everyone wanted to do that. And then I made my way into product development and customer support by just listening, turning up on time, or early in fact, getting there, putting the hours in. And then I was there for 10 years and I got to the point where I got a bit sick of it because I felt like, like I mentioned before when I was sat up there, that people like get to the point where I hate my job, I don't feel like I'm getting listened to, rubbish, blah, blah, blah took some time off to um, apply for some jobs. Lo and behold, a chap that worked here at the time, who used to work where I used to work, came on board uh, here and sort of said, we're looking for a support person. And because I was in that field, even though it wasn't software, I uh, got offered the job here. I think I had two interviews, I can't remember. Anyway, I've been here 12 years now, um, and it's amazing. And that's from me, who is the incarnation of literally rubbish, pathetic grades at school and started sweeping a factory floor work my way up to working in a fantastic company where I spring out of bed in the morning and go like excellent I want to go to work and I want to go to work here and I want to come in this room and sit on those beanbags there's going to be a dartboard there by the way 
There's going to be a mural of graphics going up on that wall tomorrow. There's going to be a pool table, which has been ordered. Um, and I think there's like a table football, I think, or there is on the plan anyway. And golf, like a putting golf thing. There's a TV, 70, is it 70 inch or 70? It's big anyway, it's massive. It's bigger than me, it's huge. And that's where we're going to have our meetings and everyone sits on there with like, you put your head in between people's legs facing out was this way, a little bit awkward, but you know, it's cool. Coming in here, it's fantastic. I'm only conscious not to turn and face that flip chart in case there's anything bad on it. Secret of bad, it's never bad. I don't know, it doesn't make sense. Hopefully it's not on here, otherwise I can't, reload, can't upload this video. Did you see it? Did you? Yeah, so point being is, um, don't put up with terrible stuff, even if you're rubbish, because I'm rubbish, you're, there's a good chance you're better than me, and um, I've managed to get a job in a good place. That's the point, I think. There's a little meeting room as well. Oh no, the windows. That leads you back to Lancaster, although it's very reflective this time, mate. You can't really, in fact, if I turn this light off, let me turn this light off. See if you can see out. Yeah, that's Lancaster, out there. Um, there's an ambulance, you can see it. Uh, yeah, so that's what I wanted to say. So, actual content about the place I love. I actually, actually love it. I actually love my job. That, that exists. I know you don't hear about it much, but it does, it's a real thing. So, uh, the point of this story is, um, even if you're rubbish, you can do well if you keep your head down and listen to people that are better than you and just learn and don't say that you're better than them and turn up on time or early actually turn up early please turn up early nothing worse than being late anyway that's all i wanted to say my desk's a bit of a mess uh, i need to clean it up and i'm gonna lock the office up and go home now and upload this video if it's not got anything weird on it take care now bye bye then <laughs>